Ay, ano ako niya kaya mga ngayon ka. Tas na na ay. Ah. Gawa. Ibang film ba mo ay? Ah. Ibang film ba mo ay? Hell yeah, the trailer. Ah, may nang sit yan. Fanny. Hindi siyong bibi sa. Yeah, chung tas di ah. Hell yeah, ano. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. Uh. Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Uh, so we just missed him. Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh? Upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh. I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? Oi. I wonder if Timaeus' research topic is... is so boring da, da. that Albedo finally snapped. Surely not. It's not that boring. Is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet sensedias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone. So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. I was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Uh, huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon... I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the uh, weird and wonderful with this one. Okay. So how about you, Sucrose? Any idea? I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up uh. in all your precious fruit's arms and legs. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Huh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, hmm? Albedo, and I all have very different research focuses. Hi, Mon. Your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. Paimon just wanted some fruit juice. What's wrong with that? Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Oh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. 
He seems particularly fond of that place. And oh. somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Then let's go to Dragon's Vine to find him! Come on, there's no time to lose! Seriously? Albedo doesn't like my alchemy device? It can... Timaeus, it's not completely useless, but... Oh, uh, okay, I see. Ai thỉnh tiết tiếc, lâm tiết tiết, lâm tiết tiết chờ Ôi, tao rồi hổng là qua lâm tiết tiết chờ nhờ Ai chứ tui quá đây là level 50 Thành ra lưu qua quýnh dễ lắm Chứ mấy bạn mà level 25 vạc, vạc mông qua đây nó quýnh thở xì bệnh luôn U uh, ạp bơ Mặc dù uh, tí chị rất yếu nhưng mà chị là quay phun Có gì rất nhiều phản chứ This looks lively What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look Hey Traveler and Paimon Fancy meeting you all the way out here Amber? Cyrus? Halid? What's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Oh? The Traveler is joining us too Oh, great! Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more, the merrier. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Oh, right! Paima remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is joined too. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurers Guild is holding winter training on Dragon Spire. Mm -hmm. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragon Spine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to hey, challenge die. themselves and improve. Yeah. And, but it's dangerous to go alone. So, we have a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragon Spine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! It's a great plan, isn't it? Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. Is the Adventurers Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. I know, Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragon Spine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Aww, really? Thank you. Yeah. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Đây hình như là thằng nhóc da mình cái nhiệm vụ uh, đi mà cho cái để cái gì? Đấy cái hạt gì đó, đúng rồi Đúng rồi, hạt nhóc nè Giờ như mình cái nhiệm vụ mà Đặt lên cho con thú ăn sao Đặt 3 ngày thì sẽ được cái rương Tiêu hiếm Không biết phải nhóc này không Chắc vậy Are you here to build a snowman too? Build a snowman Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, 
just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie... Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa! Eula just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Hmm. Yep, yep! Count Paimon in, too! Paimon wants to build a snowman! <sighs> Auntie Eula, are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay, I understand. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Then let's get started! First, we need to split up into teams Trời, to gather some sao supplies. Có câu hỏi với tôi <cười> Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Yeah, let's do it! Wow, those two are fast! It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? <laughs> uh, đứa chồng. Um, well... Giống như mà... Cái gì ta? Yeah! Mới ngủ gì nào nếu chặt, nếu hoạt động hết công sức nó không có suy nghĩ được câu câu từ. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me, and he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right, that's why he calls you Auntie Eula. À, đi chơi coi nữa, trời. Mày em quay clip về. Để là. True. In his eyes. I'm just another ordinary sẽ... person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, sẽ... but not uh, in a bad rồi. way at all. Bên này, bên này sáng rồi, nó mở rồi. Rồi, rồi. Indeed. It's just... Gì nữa, trời ơi. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm a little worried that I won't be up to the challenge. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict. So I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh no! Paimon's starting to feel sorry for you, Eula. You sound confident. <laughs> All right then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings! We have a slight problem here. We've done a headcount, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. How <laughs> 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 Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Yula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. As well. Why did you give the spot to you? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon 
Làm sao cũng khó lấy lắm Mà vậy nó cũng gọi Nó chỉ cũng theo To be honest, you really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her. Oh, now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got you involved in the first place. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now you was busy with other stuff, and uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Thì chắc lai vào đó thì nó sẽ có hiệu ứng là bị lạnh nha. Nên thành ra phải có nhân vật hay quả. Em tiêu quên. I won't hold you back. Much. Em lại cho có đẹp hết rồi. Quá đẹp luôn. I'll scout ahead. Sao tôi để những gì nữa đây? Ủa gì có hòm áo mà tôi vẫn để gì nữa đây? Tại vì hai con phong nó được bút bút đồ chạy thôi. À quên sao mình nhắm nhét cái gì ta? Tư cô vô nhỉ? Tốt mà thôi. Tự nhiên đẹp. Đấy, đi tức cái trang phục này Đẹp À Chỉ đẹp nên tôi thích Strange Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Yeah Brings you to Dragonspine. Oh, so it was Albedo all along. All along. Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you. Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. <sighs> Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. <sighs> he seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? Huh. Okay, let's... let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just 
Treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. Oh, yeah, they like to be the adventurer, dude. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula, so that you could wander off and uh, goof around. We're not goofing around, and Eula was the right person for the job. We were just being nice. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high-quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Or can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles, but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So, paint is can you talk about how uh, to find inspiration? <laughs> you want to learn to paint? I think no, that I love the girl. For me, for the traveler. Paimon wants the traveler to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It should sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. She is a knight of Favonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go uh. with Albedo. Come on, let's go. It's so cold out. Paima wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Yeah. Đi chạy thôi chứ giờ đây lạnh lắm rồi. Thế đẹp ta. Đi được cô biết Ok Things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. I... Wait, where's Paimon's Bora? It's hard to say their value, but some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragon Spine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragon Spine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> Hmm... These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! Okay! From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Oh.
họ vãi trên đầu đó là chương hồi hồi thứ nhất chứ đó vậy có có băng li liên tục kìa nó tăng mạnh phá băng mạnh chứ Wait, I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea. Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Bây giờ hôm đó ta đang bị khám ơn Trời ơi Cô Chết Please take care We'll be fine Ok See you shortly Of course Bú đi đi Trời ơi I wonder if Albedo found the thief This is taking forever Really? Trời ơi Quái em giải cỏ đó Còn nghe nhạc đánh lộn chưa bắt đầu chắc là tôi nghĩ là Ebedo vô cổng gặp cái gì đó gây thì thế lực nào nó thao túng được trong cái hang đó Sorry, I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh, so after all that, you still don't even know who the thief was? Chắc chưa xảy ra. What a waste! Cố chưa mà biết quá. We won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining. Mining? Yeah, for Star Silver. Look, we got quite a lot. Just like you said, some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or... 
Or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality uh. of the paint. Some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Useless should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! Aye. Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? It's likely an adventure in danger. Okay! Oh, I'm sorry. Chị đừng ghét là lâm tích chơi lâm lạnh thế bà không? The voice was definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! Đưa mình sụp bọt bên ếch à. No way! Is that? Như ấy là... Nhà hãm hiểm uh, siêu uh, siêu xẻ chứ Sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please help me find it. Quẹt lửa được mà. À quên nó bị dấu trong củi. Quẹt lửa hỏi trái luôn. Trái luôn nói sao đúng không? Quá không? Chị quá không lại ở đây rồi. À đây 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 đây. Đi lạc sao bị pha tôi bắt à there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head and then i would have never walked into the fatui's trap Bennett <laughs> in a cage never saw that coming um, yeah same, same play <laughs> bang i won't bore you with the rest aye. of the details just me being unlucky again yep taking them out was child's play no need to thank us you did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Razor is not an adventurer, and as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I have to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius? <sighs> yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, 
right! After all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon's sure Cyrus will put you to work! Really? For sure! Hey, wait a second! Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Havonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. Yeah, we were just with yeah. him, but then we heard you call him out. Like... He must have left us at some oh, point yeah, after yeah. that. You must have left us at some point after that. Have gone back to keep looking for clues? <laughs> Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. But I was going to go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Ờ. Biết hết dồn tiền cho cây ờ uh... Oma rồi. Ê dồn tiền cho cây cung. Đó. Còn giờ cây cung nó mạnh thiệt. Biết là không ấy được. This is great. Dragon spine so fun today. There's so cái many people mạnh lắm. around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? Tao có cái uh, Oma hay nữa. We heard his voice and went straight over to his man, camp. I know. Then we Sada. noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel Ông like helping us save Bennett? Ông mà, cái mà Wait, what? Ông biết sâu tôi xài. What are you talking <cười> about? Oh, Albedo, à, tôi chưa có nhân vật nào. Chưa có kiểu phía năm sau. I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Mà cái, cái cung là cái cung sẽ bọt. I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... There you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going what on? I have a long question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh. I see. Interesting. Interesting? You, uh... It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? That is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who took up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. You, 
I will discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. So, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will. Yula! Yula! Where are you? Amber, we're here. Yula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. There's something I need to tell you. Let's go to my camp. Bắt tao về danh trại Thấy cái danh trại mà không xây cái 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 tên lê ở chút mặt Này hước hiểu Tên cái cái lê tê lê nghe cái cầu cái cầu bị gãi My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But... before uh. that... Whoa! What a mess! Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Yep, that should do it. Neat and tidy. Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? <sighs> I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and then I would answer them. I also said that while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. <laughs> I am a synthetic human being. A human forged no, by a human know. hand. I go the one who created me. What the fuck? My mother and teacher. Her name is Ryan Daughter. A researcher from Conria. Also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... 
I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a true alchemist. I live for academic knowledge, nationality, and identity are not what ultimately define us. What is your general feeling to the dragon spine? You visited me many times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? <cười> Ryan daughter <cười> created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? The sons of Ryan daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. Oh, right! Hyman knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Hyman kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go ah, you, I love you the one looking for us. Okay. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Thế ra là Là bố đồ ấy bên Cũng mới cắt nhậm gì Chuyện của bố sao Và cái dưới tự nhiên cướp mình ra Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness Biết kê đồ But that's merely crude conjecture Whether someone is impersonating me Or there is another false me out there This is a cursed tale And it is not one whose weight you should have to bear Traveler Perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. Yeah, we're dragon spying veterans by now. If there's something really bad going on, we can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own. That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Timaeus don't know your... secret. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this! All right, thank you. You were intending to participate <laughs> in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. <laughs> that could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, Dad. please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Oh. Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time! Sounds good to me. But please... Whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. Hết chương một. Để cái chơi nhiệm vụ phụ nha, trời ơi. Rồi. 
chúng ta sẽ qua phần chơi bịch 